What's going on? My name is Jay and in this video I want to show you how you can use a public API. So let's see. So for this video we're going to be using openweathermap.org. They have a very, very simple API. They have a ton of data that we can use. So if you go there and then you click API, you will see all these options right here. But the one that I want is this one, the first one, the current weather data. That's the one that I want. Okay, so click subscribe. You will see all these options. Um, the one that we're going to use is the free version, which is going to work for this video. And it works for like a personal website and stuff like that. So click on the get API key and start. So you need to sign up just like a normal website, just your email and, and password and all that stuff. And they're going to give you an API key. Um, so that way you can request all that data. So let's test the API. So let's see if it works. I have here the URL that they provide, which is this one right here. All right. So now we need to add question mark Q equals to whatever city. And you can see that I have it already there. So I live in Orlando. So it's Orlando and then and app app ID equals to whatever API key they gave you. All right. So that's mine. Don't try to use mine because it's not going to work for you. I'm going to hit enter. And here you go. So I have all the data from the current weather in Orlando, which is great. One thing that I want to do right now is because if you can see here on temperature, that's a, it's a different unit. We use a different unit. So I'm just going to put it right here after this and so it's going to be unit equals to imperial and then and and I'm going to leave the app ID. So I'm going to hit enter again. And now we have um, whatever you use, you can um, change it. But this is what we use in the United States. Cool. Now that we have this URL ready to go, I'm just going to go to my text editor and start coding. Here I have an HTML file. The only thing I have is I'm requesting jQuery was gonna we're gonna use it to request the data. We have a script um, .js which is empty, and we have a style .css is empty. We're gonna add some stuff in a minute. So let's start by adding some HTML here. So the first thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna add a container. Everything's gonna be inside that container. So it can be like weather container. Okay, and inside there we can do a paragraph and then we can add like a class of um, this can be actually, you know what, first, I'm going to add an icon, like if it's raining, if it's raining, we can do like a rain um, cloud uh, with some drops or whatever. If it's sunny, we can add, you know, a sun or something like that. So that's the icon. Let's put icon as a class. This is going to be like the name. So if it's raining, it's going to be like rain. If it's sunny, it's going to be sunny. So this is we can name it, name it. Um, I don't know, weather, whatever. You can name it whatever you want. So let's create another one. And this one uh, is going to be the temperature. Of course, temp. All right, cool. I think that's all we need for now, like if I want the weather, I just want like, you know, whatever is happening in the in the temperature and then the icon is something cool, you know, that we like to see. All right. So that's it for the HTML. I'm going to save it. And then for the JavaScript, let's go here because we have jQuery. We can use something called get JSON and get JSON is going to get all this data for us because this is JSON. This is a JSON file. So let's go back there and let's do um, dollar sign dot get JSON. Just like this. 
and then we're gonna do inside here we're gonna do the URL comma and then function sorry function just like that all right so we need to include that URL here let's go back and get it where is it here it is copy and paste it right there all right so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put here inside the function I'm gonna put um, data all the data is gonna be inside there so I'm, I can do something like console.log data so I'm gonna save that and let's go back here so this is my page right now I'm gonna reload my page and here you go we can see all the data the same thing we have here we can see it we have it now available for us on the website everything is here all right cool now that that's working let's go back and here inside the function we're gonna do like um, let's create the variable of the icon so let's do variable icon and I have a URL that they provided for everyone to get the icon so if we go here let's see if they have here on weather so you can see that um, there is a icon here and there is like a number and a letter you don't understand how we're gonna use this in a minute so they provided a URL for that icon so let's see let's open here and let's go back and what was the code is what 11d let's copy and paste it dot png look at this so every single thing is a different thing depending on the weather the icon is going to change and it's going to be this url cool so let's go back to my code let's do oops that's not what i want i want the url which is this and then i'm gonna do plus and we need to add um that um code which is gonna be data dot and let's go here let's see so it's data dot weather zero and then dot icon so it's data dot weather zero and this is because it's an array it's a list you can see that we have oops quit we have um zero one and it's an array so we need to do a square bracket zero and then dot icon that's it now we're gonna have if we call icon we're gonna have this and then whatever code it is and actually i need to add the png file so the png format so let's go plus sign and dot png now that's gonna work there you go so now let me call the icon and see if it works console.log icon all right let's go back let's reload this page here it is let's click on it and that's it we have the icon all right so let's go back here so that's working let's remove console log we don't need it and now what i'm going to do is i want to add that icon inside this image so let's do dollar sign we can that that um the icon class and then we're going to do attribute And then attribute is going to be the source 
and that source inside that source is going to be the icon which is all of this all right cool let's save it let's see if that works let's reload the page yay we have here it seems like it's like thunderstorms or something really bad is going on in here which is true like today is a very rainy day so yes um all right cool so we have the icon done so let's do the same thing with the temperature so let's create another variable let's call it temp equals to and it's going to be data dot i think is um weather dot temp yeah i think that's that's what it is and this is gonna give us that number. So let's go back, and make sure, make sure that that's true. All right. Um, no, actually, it's main. So I have to fix that. So it's uh, main dot temp. So let's go back. It's not weather. It is main. All right. Cool. Now we do the same thing. We're gonna go here. And this is the dot the class temp. But this time we're gonna append that data. And this was gonna be temp. Let's save that and let's see what happens. That's it. Here we go. We have we have the temperature, we have the icon, the temperature. And I think we're missing our weather um, text. Like it's raining or it's not raining, it's sunny, what, what it is. So let's go back and let, let's do that. Let's do it right here in the middle. That way we are like organized. So variable, we can create something called weather or weather name or I don't know, whatever you want equals to data dot weather let's go back and see where it is so weather and then there's the arrays i'm gonna get the first one and it's gonna be thunderstorm okay so there's thunderstorms so weather zero dot main then we're gonna go down here and we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna get the weather dot append. Let's append the data and it's gonna be weather. Let's save it and let's see what happens if it if it works. Yeah, and there we go. We have the cloud. It says that we have thunderstorm and is 86. Now I don't want to show this 0.49 and um, 0.49. I just want to show 86. And there is a trick. We can do it right here on the weather. No, actually on the, on the temperature. Sorry. We can do math dot floor. And let's see if that helps. Oops. Sorry, is math like this? Let's go. Cool. Now we have only 86. All right, so you don't have to do the math floor. Actually, there's some other options. Um, so I'm going to put a link in the description if you want to play with this. Uh, but I think that's it. Uh, we just need to kind of make it a little prettier because right now it looks very very weird so let's go and let's add some css so let's say um, weather container and let's do like a i don't know like a gray background uh let's you know what let's let's align everything to the center and we have the the weather text the one that sets thunderstorm right now 
let's do font size on well, like 22 pixels you know bigger and let's remove all the margin because i know paragraph have like margin uh we have a temp like the temperature we can do this one i wanted like pretty big so let's do like 60 pixels um same thing margin zero and whoops and the font weight i want it to be bold all right let's save that i think that's that's good for now let's reload the page and here it is so you have the icon it said that we have thunderstorm and it's 86 so let's see what happens if we change like orlando um to like new york for example let's go hit there let's go here let's say um you know what let's do something real quick right here so we can do that very easily so let's create a variable called cd for example and right now is orlando and right now in the url what we can do is let's remove the name orlando we just close the url there we do plus sign cd plus sign and then we open the url again all right so now um this is coming from this variable okay so let's save it let's see if it works yep same thing so now let's change this to like new york let's go there reload the page here it is so new york right now 75 clear it seems like it's a beautiful day so that's how you do it um, you can go very very complex and and use another api that gets um the user specific user locations and then um the cd variable will change depending on the location of the person and all that stuff uh, it can get very complicated but this is a very very uh simple way to get started and understand how public api works not only weather but there is a bunch of other apis with other data that you can use in and you can use this you can use it just like this okay so that's it